The Mystic Moons of Avalon by Henny Tellendru. And she's the author that did this book, Avalon Within. So if you do like this, if, if you do like this book or anything to do with Avalon and Celtic mythology, Arthur, Arthurian legend mythology, uh, Druidic lore or Druidic lore or anything like that. Like I was just looking at this book as well. Um, this one would be good as well. Cause I when I saw them saying coming soon, I was like when they were doing this like a while back, I was like I want to try and get my hands on that, and I got the review copy, so I might get a physical copy when it gets out, but whatever. Review time. Lunar and Herbal Wisdom from the Isle of Healing. So you get an introduction, how this, how this book works. You get three parts, so Foundation, Immersion, and cultivation and you it's like a total of 11 chapters a conclusion and an appendix so and like i've said in like the chapter chapters parts it will tell you what what chapters are in under each so So, how to use this book. Part one of the of this work sets the foundation for the work ahead. It explores the power of the moon through the filters of traditional caustic lore, magical, energetic correspondences, scientific insight, and modern psycho-spiritual perspectives and applications. And it does two more points. Part two of this book is a month-by-month -month guide on how to engage with the Avalon cycle of revealing as a tool for immersion into the myths of the goddesses of Avalon and the ways in which these are reflections of the story of their own lives. And it has uh, three points. Part three presents information to assist in the cultivation of sovereign discriminant. Yeah, these practices can serve to develop while Deepening our relationship with available traditional and cultural streams of information and it has four points so Yeah And it has like a please note point so Yeah in order to safeguard the integrity of the system of engagement exposed by the Avalon tradition in support of the development of personal disagreement and coming to trust in one's inner wisdom, it is highly recommended that the seeker not consult any of the herbal information in the final chapter of this book until they have first undertaken the herbal energy immersion exercises and worked with the lunar elixirs. The, un the underpinning of this philosophy of magic is discussed further in part one of this book. So there's that. So it to me it's very informative just like the her other book and you do get um, history lore and like the lunar cycle so it's kind of like station of cycle kind of like chart. Can kind of see a blurry version of it. But yeah, station of cycle, descent, confirmation, emergence, resolution, integration, and then goes into element, holy day, and moon phase. So, lunar correspondences of the cycle of healing. That it might have been it, but. And, um. It, 
it's it tells the connection and information to the moon cycle the moon and cycle and like it goes through each moon phase first quarter so duration sun moon and angle relative to earth visual 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 moonrise and moonset time of apex and energy so for each moon phase it has those um information points and then herb of cycle queen and slays so it has, it'll have like kind of like a figure so it kind of like moon faces and stuff information but yeah it integer um some parts are an introduction well it could be this book could be a full introduction to people to the avalon world her first book w was for me anyway <laughs> um you got herbs plants like study and practice of herbalism energetic healing herbal energies so and she gives you things to do to connect with the moon deities like kirdawin sorry if i'm mispronouncing it and yourself so you get like journal prompts questions workings and stuff and so it goes through the avalon moon cycle and information about it like a myth and whatever so chapter 11 is an avalon meditation like yeah <coughs> yeah avalon medica an herb for each moon info and three two to three pages of each in the moon cycle and you are looking at close to 400 pages for it but for me it's well worth having a look into if any of the topics like herbs avalon the avalon world celtic world or, or whatever is connected to avalon it ha is an interest to you so for me it's worth having a look at and i'm likely going to get myself a physical copy <laughs> but yeah definitely worth um again definitely worth having a look into so yeah the mystic moons of avalon happy readings